you high. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. So this is just my thoughts on the possibility of WWE selling, uh, uh, uh is being sell, it's, uh, I should phrase it better. Apparently Vince McMahon is selling WWE. And I'm just thinking myself, um, I mean, obviously make fe makes feelings. First of all, I don't believe it's being sold right now. It's, it's secret. Apparently they're secretly selling it. Apparently Nick Khan, who's Vince McMahon's right hand man, you know, he's, he's the president. Uh, I mean, wouldn't it make sense? I don't know, but uh, I mean, I don't know what it's supposed to mean. Like, how is he president and Vince McMahon? Uh, I don't know, wouldn't the president? But whatever, it is what it is. Um, don't quote. Yeah, but I just really. So Vince McMahon, who's obviously still the main guy, right? But apparently Nick Khan is his right hand man. He's the one who does all the marketing and shit like that. Apparently, um, they're they're setting up to sell WWE apparently. And that also apparently explains all the releases recently. And I'm just thinking to myself, here's the thing. First of all, I don't really think WWE's being sold. I, I think that's hard to believe right now. But if it is going to be sold, I think that would definitely change the wrestling business. And it would not be for the better. It's going to be for the worse. For all the people that think that WWE is good that they're selling its, its company or whatever the fuck, listen. That is bad for wrestling as we know it. Because let's be honest here. Like it or not, Vince McMahon helped me wrestling where it is today. He helped me WWE became a world phenomenon. Like it or not, even though fucking Vince McMahon has made bad decisions recently, the shows hasn't been, haven't been good for, for a long time. It hasn't been consistently good. You know? But you have to admit, this guy was good... At the time, or he's still, let's be honest here, Vince McMahon is still the fucking man. The guy it, still does shit for the business. Whenever he's on television, he still fucking rules. He, the guy still does good shit. Recently, the badass thing he did was him jumping off the balcony in WrestleMania 36. That's badass. The guy's a fucking badass. And he's an alpha male. And the guy is also a good conservative man. You know what I mean? That's why Vince, and Vince McMahon rules. Sure, he may fuck it, but you know what? Hey, fuck it. He deserves to kill his own company. You know what I mean? Because for God's sakes, but it's also as part of it, it's not his fault. If when you got all these wrestlers who are not good as the wrestlers back in the day, what do you expect? You know what I mean? That's why the shows are going to suck no matter what. And unfortunately, they're just, they're desperate to do, or to appeal to Smarks, or whatever the fuck. You know what I mean? Not just, the, or they're just desperate to do something. You know, but it doesn't help that you fucking smarts do that. You guys demand certain wrestlers, and you wonder why fucking wrestling is, is going now, why the reigns are going now. But they're doing the best they can, I guess. Well, not really. They're not doing the best they can. I couldn't really say that because I don't know. I don't even think it's part of it. Like, part of it's sure Vince's fault, but you have to admit, fucking the roster sucks, but also people who are in creative suck. I don't know, like, uh, yeah, Vince McMahon is the main guy. For God's sake, though. I mean, I believe that he's not even in charge as he used to be. Apparently, Triple H is also part of in charge, so we have to blame guys at Triple H. Or just people in general. Listen. I don't think WWE should be selling itself, because let's be honest here. If it beats, if it's, if WWE is being, uh, is, is on sale, that would definitely change the business. And if I honestly think it's going to be for the worst. Because let's be honest, if it's being so sold, Who's gonna buy it? Like the possibility. Apparently, this may be a possibility. What, like, like it or not, Tony Khan and the fucking AEW might actually buy it because they have the money, right? They actually have the money. How would that be good? You know what I mean? If for some fucking reason, and yeah, this is like the worst reverse WCW, except fucking AEW is like worse than WCW. They're the ones falling, even though they have the money. Their shows are not doing good on television. They can't even get viewership. How is that going to help WWE? If anything, it's going to make WWE even worse, more indie, but all the smarts are happy. Obviously, all the smarts, I know all the smarts are happy about WWE being sold and Vince McMahon no longer being in charge or whatever the fuck. Obviously, they're happy about that. But the reality is, if that's the case, if for some reason AEW buys it, or let's be honest here, what if Disney buys it? It's going to be worse. WWE's going to be fucking worse. It's not going to be the same anymore. It's just going to be worse than it used to be. 
it's like at least with fucking WWE, fucking with Vince McMahon who was in charge. At least fucking there was still some good shit. At least he had the power. You know, you can actually bring back fucking old wrestlers and shit like that. He can actually still somewhat do some cool shit nowadays. He knows who should be booked, like, or should be pushed to be the main event. Like it or not, if fucking Vince McMahon was not in charge right now, we would not see Roman Reigns and Bobby Lashley as champion currently. You know how bad that would be? You know what I mean? Watch in Disney. Right now it's fucking Gay Pride Month, for God's sake. They would push a gay dude as champion. Fucking, same thing with fucking Tony Khan and AEW, or just whatever. It's going to be the same shit. They're going to probably have Kenny Omega as the world champion. You know how bad this is going to be? This is not good for the company. That's why, I, honestly, as much as I don't like Triple H, it would be better if Triple H was to be ru running it. I mean, sh uh, even though he is a match mark, but at least, like, it would be better for him because he's part of family. Or, fuck, I would like it if, this, uh, if Shane McMahon was to be in charge. It would be but Why not give it to Shane? I don't fucking know. Obviously, like, there, some of them, uh, uh, whatever, but I don't know. Obviously... If anything, it should be sold to a guy who's actually understand the business and actually, you know, fuck it, sell it to Undertaker. I don't fucking know. Sell it to Undertaker. Have him be the owner of fucking WWE, honestly. You know? But it's gotta be someone who actually knows the fucking business. Not some guy who fucking just a mark like Nick fucking Tony Khan, for God's sake. And fuck Nick Khan, by the way. Nick Khan just seems like a guy, apparently, you know, he's responsible for Debbie perhaps doing Crunchyroll or something, something about anime, and he wants to do fucking something with New Japan Pro Wrestling. I I'm telling you, this Nick Khan guy doesn't sound good, you know what I mean? Uh, apparently, he's responsible for all this stupid shit, and like, he doesn't seem to know everything that's good about pro wrestling, also he's responsible for that fucking Adnan Vert guy being the commentator. I think there's a little bias with the terms of race and shit like that, that's fucking stupid. In the end of the day, uh, first of all, I don't think that we should be fucking be should be on sale, and I don't think it's on sale even. But even if it goes on sale, because that's the rumor, because apparently that's all the releases. That means that it's possibly be on sale. I think that's gonna be fucking stupid. It should not be on sale. It's gonna fucking change. First of all, it's gonna change the wrestling as we know it. It's gonna be probably worse. Fucking wrestling is going to be fucking... Because that's the main company. Not AEW like you guys pretend that he's a competition. It's not competition. It's really retarded to say that. If anything, it's like a low-rate TNA. Fucking WWE is the big fucking top of the food chain. It's the big-ass company. It's the company... It's the UFC. It's the fucking UFC. It's the fucking goddamn NFL of fucking pro wrestling. If that's going to be sold at a possibly different order... First of all, they were not going to see Vince McMahon ever again. You know, for the guys who want to, or something about the ad. If that's gonna happen, we're never gonna see a edgier product ever again. We're not gonna see anything edgy once in a time. It's gonna be completely gone. Because at least WWE would give us something, some sort of edginess here and there. So you can say goodbye to Vince McMahon, no longer be on television. You can say all the goodbyes to all the part timers or the legends we would see, or just in general. And also, you can say goodbye to Hulk Hogan. There's no way you're gonna have Hulk Hogan on television anymore. If you sell it to a fucking other company, let's be honest here. When you have fucking woke ass Disney possibly could buy the company, because that's what it seems like they might do, because they buy everything, and also all the other stupid companies, you can say goodbye and it's supposed to be all woke bullshit. At least with Vince McMahon. He's a guy who actually has conservative values. For God's sakes, he could actually fucking. Well, he, he's know this shit. Sure, he's struggling. Yes, sure. He's not as good as he used to be, but you have to admit, he is one of the last few guys who have to help make this business to where it is today. He is the guy that made this company to be a global phenomenon. Yes, the booking sucked and everything sucked about and he's part of the reason, but you have to be honest here. Without him, things would be fucking even worse. You have to acknowledge that, and for God's sakes, no matter, even though all the shit that fucking Vince McMahon has done, Vince McMahon still rules. He still fucking is a badass. The guy's fucking awesome. Still fucking entertained no matter fucking what. Okay? It would fucking... Just wrestling would be not the same anymore. In the end of the day, I don't think it's being sold at the moment. But it is pretty scary. I don't think it should be sold. If anything, obviously fucking Shane McMahon should be in charge or something. Or his, his kids. Maybe. Even though I don't like the whole... You know, I don't like Stephanie McMahon with the whole feminist bullshit. It would be better if they were in charge. You know what I mean? And if not, then fucking look. They possibly won't. All these wrestlers that we have today, it would completely change. We would not be seeing Triple H on television anymore or shit like that or Shane. All these guys. It would be completely different. It would not be the best for business, if I would say. 
It would be completely different. It would change the landscape if Vince McMahon actually sold WWE. So, uh, that's what I have, we have to say. Um, overall, I do, even though all the shit that Vince McMahon has done recently, Vince McMahon still rules. The guy still made the business where he is today. God bless him. But obviously, you sure, all the stupid shit he's done, yeah, it's not, it's inexcusable. But he, he should definitely look at, look out for the betterment. God bless him, though. Um, always, he, I mean... What you can expect the guy's getting old, obviously. I mean, I, 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 I hate to say he's out of touch, but there's part of thing, things that, yeah, sure, he's out of touch sometimes. But the guy, like, like it or not, the guy knows better than a lot of people, you know what I mean? But if it is being sold, it should be a guy who actually understands the fucking business, who actually knows, who actually even been part of business, you know what I mean? Guys who have actually fucking been part of the business and actually knows what, what makes this shit entertaining, what could actually draw viewership, not just for television, but actually makes good business, okay? Sadly, Triple H is not that guy, but it'll be better than all these other guys. And even Shane, but honestly, I think Shane McMahon should fucking be the one taking over. But unfortunately, he probably doesn't want to, apparently. And plus, it's been said... I mean, the guys know himself that the company is shit. Wouldn't it make sense that, you know, give it to him and maybe he'll do something instead of for some restrictions? I don't know. I don't know. It is what it is. We'll see what happens. But, I mean, that's the news there. It's just rumors, but I, I really hope it doesn't uh, because it would change the landscape as we know it. Obviously, like, things will change when Vince McMahon dies, which I don't want to say that. And for all you people that want Vince McMahon to, to die, go fuck yourself. Seriously, go fuck yourself. Just because the company sucks currently? Okay, guess what? Vince McMahon still fucking rules. Like, why would you guys want the guy to fucking die? Fuck you. You want a guy to die just because you don't like the company. You know what I mean? I, don't get me wrong. I don't like how WWE is at the moment. But it doesn't mean I want the guy to die. Because the guy still fucking rules. Okay, maybe, because, like, fucking hey. So that's also, like, this little bonus idea is that be being sold. Why Vince McMahon, you know, for people who say Vince McMahon should die or whatever fuck, or, I don't know. It just, I don't know, I'm just, I don't know how to title this video, but this has been my thoughts on everything in regards to Vince McMahon. People who hate on Vince McMahon, and also the idea that they be being, uh, being on sale. I don't think it should be on sale, but it is what it is. That's just been my thoughts. That's all I'm trying to say, people. Until next time, peace. Yeah, bye. Drink your cold so magnificently there. All right, cheers, motherfuckers. All right, peace, guys. Bye.